Shirika la Action Aid kushikiwa na kundi la kina mama la Quisero. Mambazuko grupu limeondoa watoto kumi walokuwa wakiishi katika makao ya watoto ya sio jaliwa. Eneo bunge la Butere kaunti ya Kamega na kuwapeleka katika makao ya watoto yaliyo sajiliwa. Hii ni baada ya runinga ya Citizen kuangazia masaibu ya watoto hao katika boma la mzee Pita Mangula alikuwa amegeuzwa nyumba yake kwa makao ya watoto. Veole Tauma aliwatembelea katika makao yao mapya na kutuandalia taarifa ifuatayo. <laughs> Leo ni mshangao mkubwa sana. Maana yake nilinyimwa kujua watoto walipelekwa wapi na wapi. Majuma kadhaa yaliyopita tulizuru boma hili la mzee Pita Mangula kijiji cha Mshitoi eneo bunge la Butere kaunti ya Kakamega ambapo tulibaini kuwa alikuwa anawahifadhi watoto kumi na watatu hapa katika boma lake kama makao ya watoto bila stakabadhi tajika za kufanya hivyo. Waliochukua ndio wanajua kule walienda. Na hata sijui wako wapi ila niliomba kindly manake ni watoto nilikuwa nimependa na bado nawapenda hata nikiwa na shilingi moja naweza kwenda pahali wako na mimi ni donate hapo hii leo hawapo tena amesalia na wajukuu wake watatu hapa we learned about the unfortunate story of the children after an expose by citizen tv so that's when we quickly work together with the with the women networks in Quisero to check on to the welfare of the children and when uh, indeed we went there we found the situation uh, as bad as you saw it having children in a congested area in a home that is not registered with no facilities we had no choice but to swing into action and rescue those children. Shirika la Action Aid kwa ushirikiano na muungano wa wanawake wa Huisero Pambazuko Group walifika na kuhamisha watoto hao na kuwapeleka katika makao ya watoto ya Daisy School Bukura huku wenye ulemavu wakipelekwa katika makao ya watoto ya Living Water eneo bunge la Matungu. Tukatafuta jinsi ambavyo tutafikia home ambayo iko karibu ambayo ni Daisy Center Bukura barua ikaenda kule na kweli wakakubali wakakuja pia wakaangalia wakaona vile mazingira iko tukakaa nao na watoto wakaongea na mzee na ikawa mzee hakuwa anataka watoto watoke lakini jinsi ambavyo watoto walikuwa nao tena wenyewe wako walifurahi sana ya kwamba watoke mahali hapa cha kusikitisha ni kuwa watoto tisa walileto hapa na idara ya watoto eneo bunge la Butere basi na kuzingatia mazingira mabovu walimokuwa akiishi mmoja wao wa miaka sita akinajisiwa na mjukuu wa mzee huyo so the next course of action that we want to pursue is lobby within the government to ensure that proper investigations are carried out to ensure that such things do not happen because it's really for me for, for us it's it's really unfair and unaccountable to see a government facility allocate children to a home that is not registered, a home that has not been vetted, a home that doesn't meet the criteria of hosting uh, the orphans as stipulated within the Children Act. Caroline Daisy ni msimamizi wa kituo hiki. Sisi tunashukuru walio uh, ingilia pia wakapata watoto wakiwa katika hali ya kuteseka na wakawa introduce kwetu. So tulionelea ni vyema tuchukua watoto sita. Hata ingawaje hatukuwa na hakikisho ya kwamba tutapata usaidizi, tutapata vile watakula, watapata nguo, watapata kusoma, lakini tuliona hapana. Nilishikwa na uzuni sana nikasema hata kama wacha twende tungangane tu. Hata hivyo mzee Mangula anaamini kuwa ndoto yake ya kuwa na makao ya watoto itatimia hivi karibuni. Lakini nitaijenga. Takana kuwa private children's home itakuwa hiyo ni kama unyang'anyo walikuwa nakuja kunyang'anya wananyang'anya watoto wananyang'anya hata document zangu sasa hiyo vitu yote imenikata roho maana nilikuwa nataka kujenga police post na children center ya watoto na hiyo moyo bado niko nayo ama kweli imekuwa fueni kwa watoto hao kumi na watatu waliokuwa wakiishi katika makao bushi ya watoto eneo bunge la Butere hivyo basi watoto hao wamepelekwa katika makao tofauti ya watoto likiwemo hili la Living Water hapa Matungu nikiripotia runinga citizen kutoka kaunti ya Kakamega naitwa Violet Auma